Hello. Today, I brought a new friend with us. Her name is Xiao Tutu, and she's going to join us in this investigation. Have a look right here. So, let me put this down. Let's start with the number one. And we know by definition, one is actually not a prime number because it only has one factor, right? Well, next, I'm going to put down one and then attach a zero and then attach another one, namely 101. This is not LOL, all right? So be careful on that. Anyway, this right here is prime though. And you can do whatever you want to check. This is prime, you can trust me on that as well, right? We good? All right, now, what if we continue with the same fashion? Namely, if I continue with like one and then zero, one, and then zero, one, like this. Hmm, is this number prime or not? What do you think? Okay, she is saying that because the digit sum right here is one plus one plus one, which is three, it's divisible by three, that means the number itself is divisible by three as well. So that means this right here is not a prime number. All right, now we are going to answer a bigger question. What if I keep on going? Namely, if I start with one and then zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, and then zero, dot, 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 all right? And in the end, I want to end up with one because if I end it with zero, of course, that's easy. If we have this right here, will we ever get another prime number in this form? What do you think? What do you think? Right? So that's the question that we are going to investigate. Will we ever get a prime on this? If so, we are going to find that prime number. If this is not possible, we are going to prove it, right? So either way, it's very interesting. Anyway, though, as always, pause the video and try it first. And you should think about this as well, right? So look at it, look at it. Right? So she is doing the math with you guys. All right, great, everybody's doing math. Now, let's start with some observations. Here we have one, here we have 101. Of course, we can look at that as one plus 100. Very good. Now, this right here, we can break it down as one plus 100 plus 100. And notice that it's actually 10,000, but I can write the 10,000 as 100 to the second power. Can I do that? Yes, right? Here's the thing. Right here, we have one zero in between the ones we have 100 to the first power. And when we have two zeros here and here, we will just go up to 100 to the second power. Now, to answer the big picture right here, I'm going to say here, we have a total of n zeros, like this. And I'm going to start by saying that capital N being equal to the number right here, which is one plus 100 to the first power, and then plus 100 to the second power plus dot 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 up to 100 to the nth power right here, right? So in fact, you know, we actually have a sum of the power of 100, which is very cool. And especially, we can actually use some formula to help us out, very similar to the best friend, the finite version, right? No, don't worry, you are my new friend, don't worry, okay? Anyway, here, I will write it down right here for you guys. So let me just put down a note right here. Well, if we have 1 plus x plus x to the second power plus dot 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 up to x to some power n right here. This is the finite version of the best friend. This right here is nicely equal to x to the n plus 1 power and then minus 1 over x to the first power minus 1. And you might have seen this formula with the other way around, but doesn't matter because the negatives will cancel out. So, alright. Well, we can totally utilize this. And we just have to let x equal to 100. So here's the deal. This right here, again, x is equal to 100. That we are going to use, right? So this n, like this capital N, when x is equal to 100, we will just get 100 right here, and then raise to the n plus 1 power, and then minus 1, and then over 100 right here, and then, deep, and then minus 1, not d5, minus 1. So this is the formula that we can utilize, and now we have um, that to deal with. Oh, okay, so now let's see what, we, what else we can do. That's 99, no, that's, that's okay. <laughs> All right, 
we see that we have 100, which is the same as 10 square, and that's going to construct a square number on the top right here, and a minus one, we can factor it. That's good. So here's the deal. Here, I'm going to write it as 10 to the second power, and then raise to the n plus one power, after that it's minus one, or over, that's of course 99. Then I will look at this as 10 raised to the n plus one power, and then raised to the second power, and then minus one over 99. And now this is a difference of two squares on the top. We can factor it very nicely, all right? But now, this is what I would like to do. I would like to multiply both sides by 99 and divide the capital N on both sides. So based on all this that we have done, we can say 99 is equal to this right here. I'm going to factor it, which we will end up with 10 to the n plus 1, and then minus 1 times 10 to the n plus 1, and then plus 1, like this. And we divide it by the capital N. So, this is what we have done so far. All right, and what exactly are we doing? Oh, we are trying to see if capital N is prime or not, right? So, here's the deal. Well, here is the thing. We have this divided by N, and we end up with 99. If capital N is a prime number, on the top we have two factors. That will imply N has to go into this, we're going to that. So let me write that down right here for you guys. If capital N is prime, then we must have the situation that capital N goes into the device, the first factor, which is 10 to the n plus 1 minus 1, or capital N device 10 to the n plus 1 and then plus 1, one or the other, if n is prime. If n is not prime, then this and that is not true, right? Okay, so this is good. Well, we already know that 101 is prime, and this is the situation when n is equal to 1, because we have 1 zero here, right? And the n is equal to 2 right here, the little n's, because of two zeros in between. All right, now, note, so I'll just put on little note right here for you guys, note. I'm not going to look at when n is equal to 1 anymore because I know that's equal to that's a prime number. So I will say if little n, right, little n is bigger than 1, then well, I will do some math right here. n is greater than 1. Yeah? It's weird. I'm going to do the following. I'm just going to add n on both sides. Of course, that's totally legitimate. Yeah? Well, on the left hand side we get 2n, right here I get n plus 1. And of course, we can just maintain the inequality. So when we have n is greater than 1, we know that 2n has to be greater than n plus 1, like that. And I'm sorry, let me just write it down better for you guys. If n is greater than 1, then we will end up with this, 2n greater than n plus 1. And why do you want to do that? Well, it's because right here, we have capital N, we end up with 10 to the 2n power, if you look at that as the uh, 10 to the second power. And then the n plus 1 is the power right here. Have a look. So if this is true, that's true, then we will say the following. Capital N, which is equal to 1 plus 100 plus dot dot dot, and I'm going to write this as 10 to the 2n power, like this, right? Well, I'm going to say this is going to be bigger than, hmm, I'm just going to ignore the middle part, and we're adding, so it's okay. And I will just say 1 plus 10 to the 2n, like this, and I will focus on the 2n right here now, right? Now, I will keep the 1 right here, no big deal, I will still maintain the inequality, and this is going to be 1 plus 10. They are both the same base. 2n, as we talk about it, is bigger than n plus 1, when n is greater than 1. So I will replace the 2n with n plus 1, like this. So what good does this do? 
Well, you see, capital N is actually bigger than this factor. Capital N is bigger than this factor. And of course, this factor is bigger than that. So, the conclusion is what? In fact, capital N is bigger than both of them. So there's no way for capital N to divide into this and that. So if N is prime, then N divides into the first factor or the second factor. In fact, it's not possible. So based on this, I will say it is impossible. It is impossible. Impossible and uh, impossible to have n divides 10 to the n plus 1 minus 1 or n divides 10 to the n plus 1 plus 1 because again capital N is bigger than this factor and automatically it's also bigger than that factor it's not possible for this or that to happen so what does that mean? n cannot oops and cannot be prime if little n is greater than 1. In another word, this right here, right? You see, right here. This right here is the only number, it's the only prime number that we can get in this form, 1, 0, 1. If you keep on going, you will never end up with another prime number. Right? Are you impressed? Okay, she said, yes, very impressed. Very good. All right, anyway, this right here is it. I think it's really cool. Hopefully you guys all like it as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for coming.